Welcome to the PCOS Fertility Health Podcast. I am your host, Dr. Angela Potter, an integrative PCOS fertility doctor, helping women across the country optimize their fertility with PCOS. And today you are going to get a deep dive into DHEA and CoQ10. Which one is better for egg quality? You're going to understand the importance of egg quality for fertility. We're going to talk about DHEA and CoQ10 individually and how they support egg quality. And then we're going to talk about if one of them is better than the other, specifically for PCOS fertility. And before we dive into all of that juicy fertility information, I want to acknowledge you for showing up here because you have been on a journey for years trying to get pregnant and you are coming up against dismissive fertility advice like just go back on birth control or the only way to get pregnant with PCOS is to go through IVF and you really want to figure out the root cause of what's keeping you from getting pregnant work on your body to support it to come back into balance so that you can have the best chance of getting pregnant. And so you continue to flood your brain with fertility information to know the steps forward that you can take in order to have the best chance of getting pregnant. And I think that is so cool and it really speaks highly for who you are as a person. Be sure to join me over on Instagram at Dr. Angela Potter. I share lots of tips, instructions, misconceptions, debunk different myths, all of the juicy stuff that you don't want to miss out on. And so join me over on Instagram. And if you are loving this podcast, be sure to subscribe here so that you stay updated on all the new episodes coming out. And if you're a new listener, welcome. I am so happy that you are here. There is a whole host, almost 50 episodes now, of PCOS fertility information that you can listen to after this one, but be sure to subscribe so that you stay updated on the newest episodes that are coming your way. Okay, so DHEA versus CoQ10 for optimal egg quality with PCOS. Which one is better? So in order to answer that question, we're going to talk about DHEA and CoQ10 individually, and I'm going to share with you really just a brief overview about egg quality. So what's egg quality and why is it so important for fertility? As a woman, you are born with all of the eggs that you have in your ovaries. That is egg reserve. Egg quality is how the eggs are able to develop in the year leading up to ovulation. So your eggs just sit dormant, just sleeping in your ovaries until the ones that are ready, they start activating a year before ovulation. And what that activation means is that it is using different nutrients and antioxidants in order to divide chromosomes and over that year-long process, it works to divide those chromosomes so that by the time it is ready to ovulate, that those eggs are mature, or really that one egg is ready to mature to go ovulate to help you make a baby if that is indeed your goal. So that's what we're talking about with egg quality. Now, eggs need a variety of good nutrients, of good antioxidants to keep them in this place where they are able to have the tools and the resources they need in order to grow into those mature eggs that are happy and healthy. And so that's why if you're doing a Google search or if you're just talking with people about egg quality, a variety of different nutrients come up and different lifestyles and nutrition changes, all these things are focused on creating this optimal environment for your eggs to be able to get to a place where they're mature, they have 23 chromosomes, and they are ready to go ovulate to make you a baby. Now, a lot of people ask, okay, what's the difference between DHEA and CoQ10? They've done a couple of searches, they've talked in some Facebook groups or with some friends and are starting to hear chatter about these different nutrients. And then they're wondering, well, what's the, what's the deal here? What's the story about DHEA or CoQ10? And is one of them better for PCOS? So let's talk about DHEA first. DHEA, it's a hormone. 
Okay. It's made in your adrenal glands and it's a hormone that then helps to make other hormones in your body, specifically the hormones like testosterone, estrogen, progesterone. And it's highest, it's a hormone that's highest in your teenage years, you know, helping you get through puberty. And from that those teenage years, it steadily starts to lower. And so you'll see if you've had a blood test done for DHEA, typically those results will come with an age bracket for where you are with your DHEA levels and your age, because those steadily decline throughout your lifetime. And that is normal. Sometimes those DHEA levels drop too early and that can impact fertility because it impacts your ability to make your hormones that you need in order to make a baby like progesterone and estrogen. DHEA is something that's been used more recently to help with egg quality. And it's been found that DHEA helps to increase insulin-like growth factor one, IGF-1. And that has been found to help increase blastocyst formation, increase number of follicles, increase pregnancy rate, and increase fertilization. So all really good things for egg quality and getting pregnant. And so sometimes DHEA is used in order to support egg quality and to support pregnancy. Okay, so that's what DHEA is. Let's talk about CoQ10. CoQ10 coenzyme Q10 is an antioxidant. It is a antioxidant that is powerful for your mitochondria. Now, your mitochondria are the powerhouse of your cells. Your cell, you have cells all over your body, and all your cells use CoQ10 in their mitochondria in order to create energy. Now, here's something really fascinating about your eggs is that eggs hold the highest concentration of mitochondria in your entire body. I find that fascinating. That's so beautiful because your eggs are working so hard to develop as they are supposed to be in order to create a whole nother life. And so your, your body puts all that energy into your eggs because of the importance of bringing new life into this world. And so when you're on this fertility journey, you want to be sure that your body has the right nutrients that your mitochondria need in order to be able to create that energy for the cells and to combat toxins that are coming into the cells and help to keep those eggs with the energy that they need in order to divide those chromosomes and also in this protective space and keeping intruders out of that space. And research has been done with adding CoQ10 into a fertility plan, and that has been found to increase the number of follicles, increase pregnancy rates, and increase the number of quality embryos. So again, another really good foundation for improving egg quality. So now we're at the point. So now that we've talked about DHEA, and CoQ10 separately, let's talk about is one better than the other for PCOS fertility egg quality? Yes, one is better than the other for PCOS. DHEA is a hormone that we talked about, and it's got all that good research behind it in order to increase blastocyst formation, increase number of follicles, increase pregnancy rates. But if you remember what DHEA is doing, it's helping to drive your sex hormones, testosterone, estrogen, and progesterone. That DHEA really pushes that testosterone pathway. And for somebody with PCOS, many people's bodies with PCOS already has that propensity to push those testosterone pathways. And so adding in DHEA, to increase those testosterone pathways can actually lead someone like yourself with PCOS in the opposite direction. So I do not recommend DHEA for people with PCOS who are trying to get pregnant. Now, coenzyme Q10 
is an antioxidant and it doesn't push those testosterone pathways. And yet it still has really good research behind it for increasing number of follicles, supporting egg quality, increasing pregnancy rates, increasing number of eggs per cycle, all these really good markers that you want when you're increasing egg quality with PCOS. So if you're considering DHEA versus CoQ10 for your egg quality for PCOS, I typically choose CoQ10. Now, I say typically because it is on an individualized approach. Not everyone with PCOS has elevated testosterone levels, and that's why it's key that you talk with a doctor in order to figure out what's right for your body, your PCOS, and your fertility journey. And if you're looking for how to increase your egg quality between DHEA and CoQ10 and you have PCOS, you really need to do that extra research to see if DHEA is right for your body. Because when you push those testosterone levels, that starts shutting down ovulation. And so you want to be improving egg quality with something that doesn't push testosterone levels. Now you know the difference between DHEA and CoQ10, and you know that CoQ10 tends to be the safer, better option for somebody with PCOS trying to improve egg quality. But if you still have more questions and you want to know, well, what are the specifics for my body and my fertility journey and you, the doctors you've been seeing so far are giving you that kind of dismissive advice like, well, just lose weight, just get back on birth control. And you really want to know what your body needs in order to open up the best chance at getting pregnant with PCOS then you can sign up for a free PCOS fertility breakthrough session with me. And that's a free call where you and I are going to talk about the specifics of your fertility journey, what's been going on over these past few years that's been keeping you stuck. And then I'll help you figure out the missing links that have been happening in your fertility journey and what you can do moving forward in order to turn those around. So you can sign up for one of those at drangelapotter.com forward slash PCOS. And as we wrap up here, a brief reminder that this podcast is for informational purposes only. And in order to get information specific about your body and your fertility, then you need to jump on one of those free calls with me or talk to your doctor about your specific needs. So join me right back here next Wednesday for the newest episode. And if nobody has told you this today, I want to be the one to tell you that I believe in you and I believe in your ability to have the very best chance at getting pregnant with PCOS.